first Elite Two race of the weekend. The fans are ready to live an unforgettable experience here in Italy. And the drivers are getting ready for this 25 lap race. <laughs> Take as many points as possible, so uh, we will see. You never know what happened at uh, the starting procedure uh, in the first lap, and uh, the race is long, so we just take uh, we take no risk and uh, take as many points as possible from the race. Take as many points as possible. That's a good strategy. I yeah, think. I would say it is. It is a logical strategy as well, I'd say. <laughs> and especially as you know, we're going to re reinstate the fact that it is actually double points. So to get into the spirit of things and the spirit of this Elite 2 race, we've got a few words. We listen to the radio with Spotter and what is he saying to the driver? And the driver is Ulysses. So warm your, your tires up, warm your brakes up. So it's really basically, but I mean, it's really important for the drivers to, to have these orders. Look ahead, look ahead. Approach toi, davantage, davantage. Approach toi, stay close to the others, stay close to the others, look ahead, look ahead, focus, come on. Approach toi, c'est bien, super. Sphere, c'est bon, c'est parti. Green, green, green. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay there, stay there, you've got your place, stay there, stay in the inside, stay in the inside. Okay, that's good, that's good, stay where you are, stay where you are, rest in the inside. Okay, okay. That's good, you're doing well. And what great advice that is. Yeah, because it's just missed the crash, so that's oh, there good. We are. He avoided so, everything. That's good old spotter. Okay, so let's get into car. the race. After the safety car. Oh, the safety car. <laughs> okay, there is a car on the track, so be careful. Stay on the inside. And so we're going to go on board with Florian Rauner, number five, who was pushed by Philip Late. Unfortunately, the race is over for him. There we go. You see that on this? It was pushed. And I think it was pushed. He was um, yeah, very, very close Elbowed to Elbowed uh, off the track. There Leeds. we go. Right, so... Safety car, so I've safety got car. one lap only. <laughs> Once again, that lovely Chrysler Viper. Uh -huh. Safety car here in Italy. Next time we'll drive and it. Autodroma della Umbria. Hopefully. Umbria, <laughs> it's the green heart of Italy. There's a fact for you, and I think we're going to get back into the race in a few seconds after the safety car. We are with Brandon Dovich, the American boy. The American boy who's actually used to competing in NASCAR in the States, but has come over to compete in the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series. It's always obviously good to welcome the Americans over here and kind of and do a kind of an exchange with the European uh, oh. riders over there. And let's get back into the race because it is Djokovic in the pack. He's a bit. He was a bit pushed. And he was so being pushed. Yes. What a welcome. <laughs> It's not very friendly. Not a friendly welcome from the Europeans to the American. So, um, Gianmarco... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, yes, you're right. Gianmarco Ercoli, you were right to speak about him because he was pushed. He was pushed off. That's a shit. And Ferrando is still the leader. He keeps the lead on the restart. Stenis Lundgen overtook. He's, Tina uh, Roy over the second place. Everything is going quite well for the Frenchman. Oh, Ferrando. yeah. And for the top three, I think, and it's the top uh, three. pretty good. They are creating a gap, opening a gap, you can say. And uh, so they are just really looking at ease. Absolutely. The top three are actually working their ways away from the pack of, uh, of drivers behind them, uh, looking very much at ease on this track in Italy. Um, so, yeah, it's the first meeting in Europe for Brandon Djokovic, who's currently fourth. A good start for the American, I'd say. Let's drive and ball with him. Pretty calm. It works well for the 46 car. Absolutely, and now I'm reckoning it's going to be pretty much a battle for the fifth place here between Del Sol number three, Leeds number 67, and Van Heeren number 24. Del Sol is under a lot of pressure from late. Things are really hotting up between these cars. Oh yeah, the green car <laughs> will try to get over and uh, overtake the, the number three. Not sure it works. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's well on the inside in the 67. He is determined 
to take over the number three. And he's succeeded, but 24 is coming up behind him. And is he? And he's going right up behind the car in the lead there. And yeah. uh, is he going to take over him? That is the question. 67 is holding on to his lead, but will he stay? That's that not sure. That's not that sure. Because the know. slipstream works well. We've seen that. And so Leeds is just ahead of Bonneren. And Ulis Delso is just behind. But the three guys are really, really battling. And as the, the leaders as well. So, I mean, uh, Thomas Ferrando is the leader. Thomas Ferrando, yes. The French guy is in, is in the head, uh, at the head of the course. And he's steaming away in front of everyone else. There he is, really confident on this course here in Italy. Uh, time to take a time away and let's go have check out the ladies from the Lady Cup. Um, Carol Perrin, the French lady, number 54, is currently ninth overall and the Lady Cup leader after a difficult start to date. However, she will have a 25 seconds penalty after her crash with Urkeli in lap number three. Oh, and look at that. Francesca Linossi, another lady, is spinning after a puncture and then uh, she has to retire. So it's going off with the women as well. Back to then, uh, with Ferrando <laughs> still in the lead. He has a four-second advantage over Longang and Tinio Arroyo. Uh, the Spaniard and the Belgian are really fighting hard for positions here. Uh, Long in defending. But then Arroyo tries to take the inside line. No, it doesn't work. And Longin is just defending very well. There really is a real kind of exchange between these these guys. Uh, the lead is changing between them. It's really heating up. As you can see, number 51, uh, very, well, I know he's, well, he's he on was it. making it. He's he on it, but he's on it. He can't do many things. He can't do much, but look, they look pretty pleased. The spectators are pretty happy. Yeah, the parents, Tom oh, Ferrando parents. parents. There we go. Uh, yeah. Ferrando's mum and dad are there to cheer him on. And uh, which is obviously very effective because Ferrando wins this race. And also it's Ferrando number one, Longan number two, Antonio Arroyo not third place and Jovic number four. A good result in the American, his first time uh, on the NASCAR William Euro Series. Uh, good result. No, oh, yeah, and good result as well for Ferrando because it's his fifth career win and third this season. And That's he looks nice. Very, very pleased with himself, Ferrando. Uh, super result from the French it's guy. An amazing race. Uh, we, we've done a really great job on the car. Uh, what, what a beautiful day to, to take the, the pole, the, the win. So it's a really, really good day. It was uh, an incredibly good race. Uh, I started uh, seven, and in the first corner, I was uh, third. Then I tried to overtook uh, the second one, but uh, it was too risky. And then at the restart, I was on the inside. So uh, at the restart, I could uh, take uh, the second one. So, And that's the place I finished. I'm really happy. The team did an awesome job. The car was really great. I cannot follow Thomas. He's uh, too quick, but uh, the car is really good. And the team did an absolute fantastic job. So the Frenchman Ferrando is now the new points leader at the top of the scoreboard with a solid margin on his rivals elite and Urkeli, who unfortunately was forced out of the race. Yeah, thanks to Carol Perrin, a dynastic move. So, I mean, sometimes it can happen. Absolutely. So day one of the Maggio American style is already over. Thousands of fans have seen a great show on the track in the pits. The mechanics are working and they're going to be working into the night, I think, to adjust the setups of the cars for tomorrow. Hard job, hard job, I have to say. Hard job. I think they've got their work cut out for them. 